Disadvantages of the Havel F7X Crossover One of the most annoying problems is the build quality, which is a problem with many Chinese cars. Even in a completely new car there are extraneous sounds emitted due to body gaps. Most often they come from the gap between the fender and the hood. Similar problems are also felt in the cabin. After a run of 5,000 kilometers, abrasions are observed on the leather of the seats and door cards, which indicates its poor quality. The seats and steering wheel are obscenely stitched. In addition to low-quality seat leather, they are not without other problems. As soon as you sit down in it, you feel excessive softness. A person literally sinks into a chair, which affects comfort. Also, the chairs have a short cushion, the backrest does not hold well, and the lumbar support cannot be adjusted. You won't be able to sit normally in the Havel F7X. Steering wheel adjustment has a small range. This drawback, coupled with a bad seat, creates noticeable discomfort when driving. Disgusting electronic panel. She is perhaps the worst of all cars. The multimedia system has a strange interface, which looks like it was drawn in the early 2000s. Poor sound quality of the audio system. I don't really want to listen to music in this car. Problems with ergonomics. In Hawail F7X, you cannot adjust the climate control from the front panel and screen. To set the temperature, you have to delve into the multimedia system options, which is very unnerving. As soon as you get behind the wheel, you understand that it will take a long time to get used to this car. The steering wheel is thick, hard, and uncomfortable. Large pillars of glass limit visibility, which makes it difficult to move around the city. When you press the accelerator pedal, you feel a long pause, which makes it difficult to drive the car, and especially maneuver in the city. Adjusting the speed is not easy. Journalists noted that driving this car is simply scary. The thought creeps in that the steering wheel is connected not to the front wheels, but to something else. The car turned out to be incredibly dangerous. The steering wheel travel is difficult, which makes it difficult to turn. The Havel F7X chassis is practically not tuned. The brake pedal has a soft and long stroke, so you don't need to press it, but hit it. Problems are also felt in the gearbox. When switching from drive to reverse, there is a long pause. In a normal car, this time allows not only to simply switch, but also to gain speed. The most popular 2-liter engine with 190 horsepower enters the red zone at 5,500 rpm. The same engine requires up to 16 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers. Havel F7X fails diagonal test. No additional measures can fix this. This is not a luggage compartment, but a chest of drawers. The trunk is incredibly inconvenient. It's easy to hit your head on the rear doors if you're over 180 centimeters tall. The Chinese apparently made this car purely for themselves. A low door when open is one problem. A big drawback is the high loading height of 90 centimeters, which makes loading heavy or bulky items much more difficult. A woman certainly cannot cope with this. But what if you have small children and need to constantly load a stroller into the trunk? The luggage compartment volume of 490 liters is pleasing, and additional pockets on the sides allow you to place various items in them. It can be significantly expanded by removing the curtain and folding the rear seats, but in any case, it is difficult to classify the Havali F7X as a family car. Yes, this car is one of the most technologically advanced and stuffed to date. But its quality leaves room for improvement. But recently it has a more serious competitor, which surpasses it in all respects, this is the Geely Tigella. A car that is assembled near Tula from Chinese spare parts is an explosive mixture, the purchase of which is a purely individual matter. But this won't scare Russian car enthusiasts after many years of the Zigili era.